This content is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be updating the Assist Module Mission Control with support for firmware 18.0.0 on the Switch. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so sorry to put a stop on the PS2 game testing. It's just that when these updates happen, I like to make sure that everything is updated and out there as soon as possible for people that have accidentally updated and things like that. With talking about updating, there are very few things that I can update because I'm not so smart with how to update these uh, Switch apps. But there are some. So like with Tesla, I'm able to update that and my packs. And one of them is a sys module called Mission Control. So if you don't know what Mission Control is, this sys module allows you to use third party controllers on your Nintendo Switch. So any type of Bluetooth that is uh, compatible in the compatibility list is available to play. But I'm going to be testing on my PS4 controller. And I know that the Xbox, I tried on my previous video. And I think PS5 and Xbox One works as well. But just letting you know that, that this is what Mission Control does. And with that being said, let's go ahead and continue. All right, so to get started, we need to open up our SD card. Now, it doesn't matter how you open up your SD card, as long as you're able to transfer your files successfully, because that's really important. Now, in this video, I am using the SD card tools from Hecate. And if you don't know what that is, you can leave a comment down below and I'll try and help you out and on understanding that a little bit better. But with the SD card open, we need to download this one zip file from my GitHub. So if you look in the description down below, there's going to be several links. And one of them should say, click here to download the release for Mission Control with 18 support. So something like that. But once you click on that link, it should take you to this release page here. Now, I just want to clarify something that I am not the dev of this sys module. It's just that, you know, everybody's busy. Um, these things just pop out on us here and there. So I just had the time to be able to update this. If the dev eventually updates his uh, setup, then it'd be up to you if you want to change to that one. Um, I only add support for firmwares. I don't do anything else. But the dev on his side of things, uh, he'll add controller support for different controllers that have not been added to the list. So just let you know. This is, will get you. This has got a pretty big list. I'll probably put a, the list somewhere on the screen or a link in the description so that way you can check it out. But um, for now, we just need to download this one zip here. So just look for the assets area. If this is not showing, you can just gotta click in this assets area and then click on uh, this link to start the download process. After that, you can have it move to the desktop. And then here you need a zipping software to extract the files. I highly recommend using 7-Zip because it works really well and it's free and I never have any issues with it. So if you wanna follow with me, I'll leave a link in the description to download 7-Zip and then you can follow after if you like. But with 7-Zip, I'm gonna right click on the zip file, look for 7-Zip and then open the archive. Here, once the archive is open, it already has the folders with the correct directories on where it needs to go. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus my area on this empty space because we need to put this on the root of the SD card. You wanna make sure you don't put this in any of the folders because then it won't work like that. So in order to get into the root, we need to put it in this empty space here where we can't put it in any folders. So in the archive, you're gonna highlight the two folders and then you're going to extract them into the root of the SD card. That's pretty much it. Now we have, we should have support for the controllers. All I need to do is test. So I'm gonna get out of this archive. I'm going to eject out of this uh, SD card. And then once I get back on the switch, I'll, <laughs> I'll get back to you. I'm gonna put this on dock mode so that way you can see it a lot better. All right, so if you were able to boot your switch without any issues and you made it to the home screen like this, that's a pretty good sign that it's gonna work. But let's go ahead and test it. 
So in order to test it or pair your controllers, you need to go into the controllers um, app and then go to the change grip. I know my head is in the way, but change grip. And then you get your Bluetooth controller and then you're going to put it in pairing mode. So for me, if I, on this PlayStation 4 controller, I'm going to hold down the PS button and the share to put it in pairing. And let's see how it goes. There we go. Now it is paired. And it works just fine. So if I push the home. There we go. So that's pretty much it. Should work just fine with the, uh, the Bluetooth controllers that are available on the list. And maybe I'll put it right now or somewhere edited after inside of here as I'm talking about it. But that's pretty much it. It should be working for firmware 18.00. That I can do. <laughs> Let's go and check the settings all the way down. And under system update, there it is. I am firmware 18.00 with AMS 1.7.0. So there you go. Oh, there's something that I forgot to say. Just in case you have this question, you do not have to repair if it's already been paired once to the switch. So I guess I can't say for all of the controllers, but for the PlayStation, Xbox, and things like that, I've had no issue with uh, just pairing just to turn on the controller. So for the PS4, instead of putting it in pair mode, I should be able to just automatically just turn it on here with the PlayStation button and it should automatically connect. So I should have function already. There you go. So I just wanted to cover that real quick. I just remembered as I was about to edit this video. Can't get any more proof than that, I guess. But let me know if it's working for you. Let me know if it doesn't work for you. I'll try and help you out as best as I can. Let me know if it does work for you as well. But other than that, I hope it does. And sorry to spam all these videos on y'all. I'm just trying to get these up to date for y'all. And then I'm going to get right back into the PS2 testing because that's been really fun. With that being said, thank you for everybody that's been giving support to this channel and to me. And I really appreciate it. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, so just to show you real quick, I can play this on the controller. I'm going to go ahead and try this game out. So enjoy the game. I'll play one mission. Forgot to add the sound. Thank you. I love this game so much. If you've followed my channel for a while, you know that they always result to this game, I like I would test it.
Gut. You enjoyed that? My mic fell down here, so that's why I'm talking down here. If you can hear me, thanks for watching.